You got Wi Fi in here? I do, yes. Um, switch that light back on and then. That mean iPad. Uh, the apps are good on it though. I know they're good, I know the apps are good on iPads, man, but. And I'll tell you what I like about Samsung. They don't sort of free, don't jump away like. See, Apple, Apple's quite. So, hey, right, Apple's a good thing. Sometimes it can free, sometimes Apple, it can pure. Apple's a, Apple's a great iPad. <laughs> Apple's a great iPads, but I just think that they're no as great on uh, phones. Mm-hmm. And do you know what easy? So easy. Do you know the iPads are getting better now? The iPads are getting better. Plastic screens, where when you drop it, you don't have to worry about the screen. Cracking and they'll have that glass screen. But you know that that is just that but a bigger model. You do know that. What? You do know what an iPad's uh, an iPhone but it's a bigger model. Oh, yeah. Because you do know you can use that to phone people. Aye, I know I can use this to phone people. I don't know, that's what I'm saying, I don't know why. Picture it's... remember Black Friday? I yeah. told you about Black Friday? Yeah. Like how people were going crazy grabbing TVs and people were holding on to the bottom and the telly's going, no, give me it's mine and no, it's mine and dragging them. Well, yeah. Matt, well, Matt. Well, my mate, my mate Paul here, he's got a funny picture. I don't know if you've seen The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, no, I haven't. I've seen The Dark Knight. Well, see, Dark Knight Rises, there's a scene in it where Bane goes into a... Um, do you know where, you, where Americans go in and they, they put... What was it? It was like a community hall they, or something? No, it's you know where pe- the Americans go in and bait on like fresh orange juice and nuts and all that. And they go at, they, they go at six... Six six twenty nine and all that. It's like ah, I'll get a better deal. I'll get six six one nine and all that. It's like I'll buy it. I'll buy it and all that. You know, it's like Americans all betting on fresh orange juice and nuts and all that. It's a kind of big room. I don't you think that. Things up in the. I don't you think that. I know. Ten forty to one forty two. Yeah. Do you know what I take about what I'm talking about? Yeah. You bet on stuff with fresh orange juice, nuts. I can't remember, I don't know what you call it, it's a room where you've got all the things and you bet on it, like, if you get it for cheaper, if you buy it for cheaper, not, if you buy that certain... That's what the Wolf of Wall, that's what the Wolf of Wall Street's based on? see the Wolf of, aye, as my mate said, see the Wolf of Wall Street, have you seen that? No. Well, that, that is what that's kind of based on, that's based on... Buying things that are cheap and selling Buying things that are cheap and then selling them and making a profit, that's American market. See, like American market and that's what you do, you go in... And say fresh orange juice is at a cheap price, but like you don't think it'll be a seller. But then all of a sudden it comes to a certain certain type of type of month, and next minute fresh orange juice is skyrocketing. People are wanting to buy it, and you go, like, "Yeah, I'll sell, sell that to you, and sell that, sell that," and then just things go crazy, and then you end up making a fortune because uh, you bought it at such a cheap price at the time it was there, and it wasn't a, it wasn't dirty profit money at that time. And then comes to a certain point, and then you just sell off at an amazing price. And that's what it's kind of like. It's kind yeah. of like that. Definitely like Wolf of Wall Street. But my mate, my mates get a picture, and it's basically Bane, and it's like Black Friday, but there's like people grabbing TVs and all that, and it's like Tesco, and Bane's kind of going, punching and like, give me that Bane. Come here, sure. I pop it up. He'll show you. When he was up in Glasgow and all that stuff, he says it was crazy. Black Friday, it was just shops were crazy. People were just fighting their stupid little things. I know you can get like blu- stupid little things, man. You people get are just, I, people are fighting their Blu-rays and people are fighting their Blu-rays and all that and pure. Give me it's mine and shoving it and go not mine and that's mine and running away from them and all that and then they're chasing them and grabbing their legs and pulling them down. And Did you see the video? Did you not see the videos on Facebook? I've Folk chat. I've not seen any. I've seen one. Folk. Pushing like stuff at the w- trampoline and folks. Have you all know, seen the South Park episode with Black Friday? No. It's like this people like let them all into shops, they buy stuff. And then they, they all kill all the security people. And then they start like fighting, start stamping people to get stuff <laughs> and all that. Like, ah! That's cool. Collecting videotapes. And then videotapes became up out of fashion and then DVDs. And then DVDs became out of fashion and then it went on to blurries. So then we just kind of had that thing we just getting together and going, fancy going up and buying some movies. What's your favourite movie? 
What's my favourite movie? Oh, <laughs> sad one. That's a question and a half for him. That's a question and a half, actually, aye. You know something? But if you, deb- if you de- debate it in the categories you know of something? actors. No, you know See? something? Always be my favourite movie, and I always have. And he knows it. <laughs> he knows it. He knows it. And I've got a t-shirt of it. Nah. And that's it's Batman. It's up there. And, and you get figurines it. And that's Batman, that's... Have you, have you seen... Have you seen the Tim Burton Batman? Michael Keaton? Yeah, is it the Michael Keaton Batman? Yes. That is my all-time favourite. Sure, film. sure, yeah, hotly. That's my all-time favourite film. Do you want to know what mine is? Yes. Go on. Oh, oh, wow, what a wow. film. Oh, that's, that's a good one. That's a hard one to beat as well. That's, um... Kevin Costner. That's Kevin Costner and... The guy that does the... To get Vicky Mohican and all that. Um, Graham Greene. Graham Greene. He was in Street Fighter. He was Cigar in Street Fighter. The movie with Van Damme. He played the bad guy, Cigar. Mm-hmm. That was him. That's who that is. Yeah, Kevin Costner. My favourite are Kevin Costner. Go to him, it's hard to beat. Is the Untouchables. Yeah, that was great, wasn't it? That's a hard one to beat. Very hard yeah, one to beat. But you know who stole that film, but... Yeah, I know. I know. Everybody goes, all oh, Untouchables to Kevin Costner, but it's like De Niro kind of stole it, but with his p- performance of Al Capone, his performance of Al Capone was just like, wow. It was amazing, that. This was actually felt like you that. You got nothing! Al Capone. <laughs> felt like he was Al Capone. And you've kind of... Whoa! But it was just, see with Sean Connery, I know I think, oh, in that era they all wanted, they were all big actors, face since he'd done James Bond, so then since Kevin Costner did his other big type of films, all down the line, like his baseball one and all that, and then uh, Al, um, Al Capone. Waterworld and? A Waterworld and Al, Al Capone and um, De Niro coming into all his films, they all just went, you know, we're all big actors, we need to be in a film together. What film? And then they just came to it. Put it down to them more about this film, The Untouchables, about, about Elliot Ness chasing Al Capone and getting him. And I'm like, aye, do you know what? That works. I could be Elliot Ness. De Niro's like, I, I could be Al Capone. And see what he's Al Capone and boom, just melded together. Made a pure, really like, gritting type of. Five. Oh! <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing. I, I, I'm, I'm being all high fidelity. That's be all high fidelity all you want. I can, I can hit you in my top five, no bother. I can hit you with ease. First is Batman, right? Nothing tops that for me, right? That'll always be my film. Even though I was like two when, sure the Even when I, was, I was two when it came out, it was just something in primary school, me and him together, it was just something that. Right, so Batman first. Below that, you may have not heard of it, and you may have. It's Legend. Tom Cruise. Fan. It's a fantasy type one. Ma- no, 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 no. no if you think the Masters Universe. You think the Masters Universe. You think a He-Man. You think about that. That's. Check this up when you get a chance. I know you're laughing, look at you sniggering away. Check this up when you get a chance. Legend, put in Legend Tom Cruise and it'll give you a description. It'll give you a movie I'll description. I'll look it up, I'll look it up. Just tell me your other three. So Legend, right, that's a good, that's my, my second, right. Come down to my third. No, 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 that's, as, ama- as, as amazing film as that is, it's, it's not one that's my, my favourite, it's a film, good film to watch when you're with company and all that or whatever, but it's no there that's pipes it for me, it's not a film that up there, you know. Right, so Batman, then Legend, and then Ford comes... Oh. It's just, it, I'll, I'll look it up, I'll read it up a bit. 
do you know something about it? When it came out, it was like slandered. And see now, nothing for them. see now, it's got a cult following. It's such a big, big film now. It's like one of the biggest films it's talked about now. So Tom Hanks. Gets, so that's so that's one, two, three, four. Four. Oh, yeah, that four. I'm not gonna. What, I, what, I'm actually gonna stick in there before. That's hot. How do you not have this ready to go? But I've got my top five ready to go. Because I don't. Do you know that I've got so many amazing films that I can shove in? I can go that one equals with that that one. But how can that one take that one? Then how can that one then beat that one? Very hard if you. Surely you have like your. Like I, I have my top five just done. And mm. like but it's you it's hard, but do you know how hard it is? Goodfellas, Goodfellas would be a thing. No, that's a movie I like, but let me try and think. I know there's one, there's one there, there's one there that um, it's no, it's no a De Niro, it's no Tom Hanks. I thought to see I yeah, there you are. Thank you. There you are. Star Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan. The old Star Treks? I've never seen Star Trek. <gasps> I'm not going to fall off this chair now. I, I never do. expected that. Oh. And it just goes Wah! starts killing other dogs, and then they'd run in with a flame phone and go. Wes Craven's quite good as well, he's a quite a good filmmaker. Wes Craven, Scream, amazing, I scream, look at Scream and all that. Under the stairs. People under the stairs and... He did really good. There's a lot of good people. So, another film he did was Freaky Man, Wes Craven, I can't remember what it was. It's a terrifying one. Do you know who's David Cronenberg's quite good? What's that film I tell you know? The Illusions. That director, the horror, remember The Illusions? Lord of Illusions. Well, who directed the keep? Clive Baker. Clive Baker. Oh, I can't See, man. Clive Baker. Candy get man. this is a film. All films like Star Trek and all that. Get this film watched when you can. Get if you hear this film, you get a chance to see this film. Get Lord of Illusions and Candyman. Get the two films watched whenever you can. So see Lord of Illusions. It is so spine chingling. It's so like. It really, you, you kind of sit there and go, wow. You just go, I have to take a step back and go, wow. That, I didn't expect that. And like you go, really? And then the whole story, and it actually, it, in the film, you know how like, films they make like a pre sequel and they tell you, like, this happened, like aliens, like aliens, and then they done Prometheus, and they done like Prometheus, this is how the I mean, aliens that, got to that, be. That, that, the good thing about that was Ridley Scott that actually did so, that. Ridley Scott, and he done like Prometheus, and then he done the aliens as well, so he the same director. We see the Candyman. It was like Clyde Baker did it and he goes, this is the Candyman. And people go, but how did he come to be? And then it tells you the whole story, how he had to be, he had a wife and all that. And he was beaten up so bad and all the bees and all that. And he was trapped in all the bees. And then when before he died, it, he was always known as a, he was always known as the Candyman. He was always known as the man with the candy and all that and stuff. He was just a sugar daddy around about that area. And then if a member shouted his name, he's like, I'm the Candyman, I'm the Candyman, I'm the Candyman. And then when he became a cult-like myth, or oh, people don't believe him, he doesn't appear. If you go to a mirror and go, Candyman, 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 he doesn't appear. And then when, like, a lassie stayed in the house and she went to the mirror and went, Candyman, 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 and then the next minute he just appeared. And all the blood started to just appear through the roof. Find that. And the boys were <laughs> sitting there like, ah, what the hell? Is that not that? Is that the one about Bill Murray? Austin Translation, that the Bill Murray one? Is that the one you're sitting on the bed? Ah, uh, I guess. Is that the one you see in the front cover sitting in the bed? I, I think I've seen it. It's got I, she's in her mind. I think I've seen it. That was before she bit. became... Ah, that was before, do you know, that was before she became famous? Her first film was Home Alone, three. Do you know what, do you know her actual first film is?
and it was. No, it was the third. It was the third film of the the four. It was the third film of four. I'll give you a wee clue. Macaulay Culkin did one and two. Yeah. What's that? What's that? What Macaulay Culkin did one and two. So Home Alone three. That's our first film. Cringy, but good. Great movie, great movie, no man. Ah, it's that's... cringe with the drugs, man. It's cringy, but. But that, but the cringe with the drugs. You look at the drugs, but mm, fair enough. Okay, it's got the scene with the baby and all that, which probably should never ever have been put in a movie with a baby dying of drugs. No, it's never been. But. But then the boy was quite a good. Uh, the but if you look at it, it happens in real life. So yeah, why not visualize it and get people. <laughs> Amazing sound, amazing, absolutely out of this world. Um, and then number four is probably being John Malkovich. Being John Malkovich. Being John Malkovich. Ah, okay, I'll, I'll give you that. It's like that. The one Weird film, isn't it? Hunters of Hunters of Pete over his face. Um, him and him and you get his name. Died Ghostbusters. Oh, at Stripes. Stripes. Mind that. Stripes. John Candy's in it. You seen Stripes? Yeah. What a film. It's good, isn't it? What a movie. I watched Stripes and I was like, oh my God, Bill Murray's amazing. John Candy's amazing. And uh, what's his name's amazing in it and all? I was like, wow. I love, um, I love Uncle Buck. Yes. Who does not? Who does not? And then they're, 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 they Sorry, we'll let you go, because me and my friends go watch lots of films and get good films to kind of crack on and watch. So I shall possibly chat with you maybe Wednesday, Thursday then, because you're going to be busy. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, so maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. You're free. I'll pop on and chat. Because I'm off, so pop on. Yeah, so, so what's up? to sleep okay. and um, I look forward to chatting with you next couple of days you um, you have a good evening tomorrow I hope you're kind of meeting in that doesn't stress you too much oh well, yeah I'll be at work from 8 till 8 oh. and then not meeting and then woof all that da 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 all that all gets right. Bye to bye. Have a lovely night. Sleep well. Enjoy. We shall. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. See you in a while, crocodile. <laughs> Alright, night. Night.
Yeah. What happened to you? Oh, I don't know, man. It's been fucking used and abused so many fucking times. People sitting on it, people know. People know fucking bits and people know just... People just... Chuck my boot fucking all over the place and then it's just get weak. Years went by and then bang, that's it. It's just... Had this fucking time and then... Man, I, I like campus and all. I like jumping jacks. Jumping jacks is kind of changed. Has it? Since uh, 2009? I, know, it's... I, I like, like about campus. Did, I don't know if you've noticed, but do you see the John Boucher photos they've got on the wall? Mm -hmm. nah, like... They've got like blue. Oh. Did the chairs come with a flat? Yeah. 